Hello, Hitler Gaming here. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, how I got my name and uh, what it actually means to me. Uh, rather than uh, talking about a game individually, uh, I use this screen name for literally everything. And it's not just because I, I like the name, it's because I like the value that it represents. Um, so when I first started computer gaming, uh, I played a lot of StarCraft Brood War. And um, playing StarCraft Brood War, I'd, you know, join a clan, you'd, you know, join a clan, and they had tags and all that fun jazz. And uh, what we ended up doing is we made a clan called Dark. We made, like, angsty teenager-like things. And so we made one called Lest. And uh, being the angsty teenager that I was, I made a uh, put hate in front of Lest. And uh, it kind of stuck. I, I, I kind of liked it, and I liked the the idea of um, not getting angry at games and and not uh, what would the term be not not being mean to others. Kind of try and put yourself in their shoes and, and understand where they're coming from, rather than you know just being angry. Uh, not always hating on the the, the new bro or whatever. And it just kind of stuck with me. Uh, as time went on, I, I just used the, the screen name Hateless. Um, but what I wanted to tie that into is that when you're gaming, if you are always angry and say you have, uh, there, there's three kinds of players, right? There's, there's one that actually knows what he's doing. I guess there's not three kinds of players, but there's, there's many kinds of players. Uh, but there's there's three types that I kind of want to point out in this video. There, there's the guy that knows what he's doing. That's normally quiet and just kind of off in the corner doing his own thing or kind of, you know, playing his game. Have, having fun doing his thing. And then there's the guy that doesn't know what he's doing and absolutely knows he doesn't know what he's doing and he's just trying things. And this guy is not going to do good. He's, you know, learning the game and figuring things out. And then there's the guy that thinks he knows what he's doing and thinks that he knows what's going on and thinks all this stuff. And then when the new bro, so all these guys are, there's three guys, they're, they're, they're in a game together, right? And so guy, guy A uh, is doing well and probably carrying the team. And guy B is doing kind of okay and thinks he's carrying the team. And then guy C is, you know, doing his his thing trying to learn uh guy guy c makes a mistake uh and you know lo loses the team a point or or whatever you want to call it and then guy c it costs the, the the team maybe part of the game maybe puts us behind may, maybe whatever you want to call it we the team ends up behind uh guy guy b the uh kind of arrogant guy starts hounding on guy guy a and guy a is now or guy a is kind of huh and then we have now the situation where guy c the new bro is having a bad time uh because he's not being yelled at screamed at wh whatever you want to call it guy b is angry and then guy a is has is now in a position where he has a couple choices. He can decide that, you know, he can side with, uh, you know, guy B that kind of knows what he's doing and decide to get angry and upset with guy C. Or uh, he can completely ignore the situation and just, not my problem, not my circus, not my monkeys. Uh, but um, he can also try and help guy C and make the the experience somehow positive and that is kind of what i want to see more of in gaming where people will help each other and bring each other up uh, rather than being the one that is always you know getting angry at the new bro or getting angry at the person trying to learn the game uh, it's very important to teach new players what to do, uh, regardless of the game that you play. It, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I play a lot of EVE Online, and that game requires a lot of um, like coordination. Uh, so teaching new players what to do is is, is highly valued in EVE Online, uh, rather than you know just getting angry at them. 
Uh, whereas games like Dota or World of Tanks or you know StarCraft, when you have a teammate that doesn't do right, it costs you the game. People just get angry and, and, and rage at each other. And I don't view that as a good thing. Because uh, what if guy C, it was his first time playing online, and now he just doesn't want to play games online because he just got yelled at. Like, that that sucks. That sucks for everybody. Um, and so the the uh, kind of tying this all together is that the, the, the idea of being hateless is that we're guy A, and at some point we get to help somebody have a better time in online gaming, regardless of it being you know, a, a big impact or a minor impact, uh, as long as we can put a drop in the bucket to uh, help the, the gaming community as a whole, uh, eventually, if enough of us hop on this bandwagon of being you know, positive and, and helping each other rather than just getting angry at the person who makes a mistake, uh, we'll be better off for it. Uh, there'll be more players gaming, there'll be more players in the game that you like. If, if you uh, help people, uh, it, it ends up, you know, more people will be around, more people will want to hang around, you know, all, all that will happen. Games get better with more people, uh, especially the one that I play the most, which is EVE Online, uh, whereas the game uh, benefits from having more people and benefits from having more people around. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's just kind of, I don't know, a, a, a talking point of, you know, helping players rather than not helping players and that's kind of the mentality that i want to inspire and the mentality that i want to uh bring to the gaming community is to be n not only improve yourself uh in, in ways but also you know help the new player or help to help the new guy learn something and uh i don't know make 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 the world a slightly better place I uh, know that I, I hold these values in both real life and in gaming. Uh, whenever there is an opportunity uh, to help somebody and I have the ability to do so, I do my best to do so. Um, but two criteria do have to be met, and that is that I'm available to help or I'm able, and uh, that it is not beyond the scope of what I'm able to do. Uh, so, like, for example, if I see somebody pulled over on the side of the road and, you know, they need a ride to the gas station, why not? If, you know, I see somebody pull on the side of the road and, you know, their engine's blown and they need a new engine, I can't go buy you a new engine. Um, but y y y you help when you can and you you do what you're able to do rather than, you know, not helping. And who knows? You know what's really cool about helping somebody? You might make a friend. It's the worst that can happen. Guy B gets angry at you? He's already angry. What's the best that can happen? You make a friend. Like, that's how you make friends in, in, in online. You you help people. The categories, I bet you guys agree too. So, uh, until next time, uh, I, I, I just kind of wanted to make this, this kind of video kind of explaining what hateless means to me and kind of send a message of, you know, helping people with what little... Um, following I have or, or what little sway or, or voice I have and that's the that's really the message that I want to send and the, the, the message that I want you guys to uh, take from me is that you should help people you should always help people uh, of course when you're able and when it doesn't harm yourself uh, so that's that's the that's the big one uh, so if it costs you nothing to say hey you know what Keep up the good work. Yeah, you made a mistake, but this is what you can do better. Or hey, um, you know, just don't be the guy getting angry at the the new bro. Be the guy helping the new bro. And the worst thing that can happen is you'll make a friend. Uh, until next guy, next time, guys. Uh, make sure you fly fun. Keep on bringing people up, and I will see you guys in the next one.